Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Edgar and I'm welcoming you to my Piezo Match cartridge interface video. That's a good name for it. And uh, we have a shot of the unit here built on perf board. It's mounted to an aluminum plate cover to a Radio Shack project box. And uh, the cover plate is four inches wide by two inches tall, so you can tell it's a pretty small circuit. I will find my pointer or whatever I did with it. Uh huh. Hmm. Here it is. Okay. So we got the pointer. I'm going to go ahead and show the major parts. Uh, the input jacks, they came from an old Toshiba TV. Uh, we have a TLO 72IC. I typically, on my on my phono preamps and on this interface amp, like to use eighth inch or two point I mean 3.5 millimeter stereo jack because that's convenient for uh, driving the computer's line input and also a lot of my stereo equipment in the rack is is now set up on that. Uh, let's see, as I was saying, the op amp is TLO72. High impedance op amp, it will drive comfortably down to about 2K with real low distortion. Okay, for lowest noise, I'm using a TL78LO6, a little 3 pin, 100 milliampere rated three terminal voltage regulator gives steady smooth DC for no noise no hum performance and we have main filter capacitor we have six volt bypass capacitors uh, we have little yellow ceramic point one scattered throughout the circuit to keep it quiet and keep it stable but that's that's the that's the board we'll show the schematic next okay I've got the schematic up and uh, I'm just gonna go over the left channel because both channels operate in this in an identical manner okay uh, as I've said before when you're using a crystal cartridge it has a higher voltage output and it also needs the higher impedance to match it and to keep it from losing lows so we have the 1.5 meg resistor in circuit for it the 0.1 series capacitor is optional but I recommend it because if you ever need to test this with an audio generator or use it with some other equipment besides a a, a piezoelectric cartridge you do need the capacitor because the bias voltage will bleed through it and the op amps will cease to function so it's a good idea to have it in there you get about three cents a piece at Mauser anyway so they're pretty cheap okay um, as I was saying earlier the TLO 72 op amp the output is connected directly to the inverting input that gives it a unity voltage gain whatever the voltage in same voltage out where the amplification is is in current gain and it'll drive comfortably about a 2.2k load to whereas the input impedance of the IC itself is over a billion ohms so this is a designer thing whatever you want to put here for your load impedance that you use that same value resistor and that's what you get because you put a billion ohms across 680k still 680k that's how it works now uh, the output clips at about two and a half volts peak to peak so you don't want to drive it with any more than about two volts peak to peak so you have a little headroom in there uh, crystal cartridge would overdrive it and besides that if it weren't for the series resistor you'd only be loading the crystal with 680k it would thin the base out it wouldn't sound very good anyway so uh, optional what I'll do when mine is actually complete I'll put a switch on mine to where I can select either the jumper in for ceramic or the jumper out for crystal uh, I'm coupling through a 10 microfarad capacitor that's pretty typical uh, this amp amplifier operates with the output of ha half of the supply voltage so with a 6 volt supply there's 3 volts of DC right here this uh, resistor is optional I like it because it, it makes sure that the capacitor is charged even before you have a load plugged into it so if you happen to plug a, a signal cable into it it's not going to charge the capacitor through your signal source because it will already have charged it through that resistor what that does that prevents it from popping real loud when you make the audio connection down here we have the power supply and the key to any good amplifier or any good computer is a stiff well regulated and low noise power supply so that's what we have uh, these regulators are under a dollar a piece uh, your AC adapter may have a capacitor in it it doesn't hurt anything to spend 75 cents and put a brand new one across the input uh, a lot of people leave the capacitors out they're necessary because under a lot of conditions these three terminal voltage regulators not only these little ones
but the the larger ones they they can oscillate so it's better to just put a point one across the input and across the output makes them very stable now because the ICs do have to operate biased at half the supply voltage we have a voltage divider here for the bias 100k 100k resistors the same voltage is exactly half the supply voltage 6 volt supply 3 volt bias bias comes up here to the bottom side of the resistors and what we have is between the bottom side of the resistors and the actual signal ground we have another point one microfarad capacitor and that smooths out any noise that could come from these resistors or any that may be on the on the uh, output of the regulator so here we have an AC ground the signal sees this as a connection to ground but being a capacitor the DC gets to float on it and that causes the DC voltage at the input of the amplifier to be 3 volts and the actual input of the amplifier is 3 volts plus the signal voltage so you have an amplifier with a voltage gain of 1 and it'll comfortably drive down to about 2k on the output and the input of it is over a billion ohms so it uh, lets this be the chosen load resistance for the cartridge left right channels um, you go up to a meg if you want to on that. You go down to 300k, 330k if you want to. 680 will give a ceramic cartridge a good bass sound with probably a little heavier bass than most stereo equipment that has that, that record changer in it would have. And uh, that's basically the that's basically the circuit. It's very simple. It uses one op amp IC because TLO72 has two sections, left and right channel, and. Uh, the whole circuit consumes maybe, oh, I don't know, less than 30 MA. So just about any any 9 to 15 volt AC adapter will run this. And I recommend an AC adapter highly because it means you don't have to mess with any any dangerous uh, power connections to, to power this thing. You just use some uh, uncommitted AC adapter or you go to Mauser or, or uh, or Marlin P. Jones or any of the distributors can get an AC adapter for under two dollars. AC adapters are actually cheaper than transformers. So uh, that's that's the circuit right there. And uh, listen to the Calero demo on on that video and uh, the old ceramic cartridge, 50 year old plus ceramic cartridge sounds wonderful through this thing. And I can't wait to work on a few more changers and tables. Uh, somebody likes to make noise while I'm doing my video recording, but uh, so much of that. You know, hope this video doesn't go there. Uh, but uh, that that's the circuit. And it matches them well. Sounds good. So thanks for watching. That's it. Uh, have any questions? Leave comments. I'll try to answer them and take care of you. Thanks again. Bye. Everybody.